All right, guys, I wanted to make a quick video uh, to give an update on how our Johnson Sioux bioreactor is coming along. When I posted uh, that we are building these composters, uh, I got questions like, why are you building that? What's it for? And what benefits are you going to see for your farm? And um, so anyway, the two on the right, those are uh, standard Johnson Sioux bioreactors like he uh, designed. If you want to um, find out how to build them the way he designed them, um, search on YouTube, Johnson Sioux bioreactor. And he's got a lot of good videos on not only how to build them, but what the benefits are. Um, this one right here is an RTK shuttle. We saw some people uh, doing that and thought, man, I want to try that. Uh, that looks like it'd be easier to fill. And so that's why we went the RTK shuttle route on the next few that we built. This one's already full. And then this one back here is one that's done and it's ready to be filled. Um, but that's basically it. You put a or take an RTK shuttle, take the tube out, and then line it with this weed barrier mat and put uh, PVC pipes in there. Most people say, or, or some people that we saw doing it, they were getting away with four. The biggest thing is, is you want at least eight inches to the closest air source. Um, so just to be on the safe side, we put the fifth one in there. Um, and this, the reason why you want it close to the closest air source is these, these composters, they don't go anaerobic. You don't have to turn them because of the air and they don't ever stink. And that's what I think is really cool. If you get some, like I got a handful here, it looks funky and nasty, but this stuff, you know, is already almost starting to smell like uh, soil. And you can see it's already broken down quite a bit just in the three weeks um, that we we built it. Uh, John Nicewanger came over and let us use some of his. This is the what the finished product looks like, and we use this to inoculate inoculate ours. Um, so the reason we built this is because when this breaks down in a year. This will be 700 pounds of ridiculously uh, awesome soil. And so what the idea is, is you take that soil and you mix it with water, one pound for 20 gallons, and then that solution, you can treat your seed. Uh, you can um, you could top dress your, your wheat with it and you can plant it in furrow. So let's talk about in furrow and treating your seed. So if you treat your seed um, with this, basically you're taking water and you're you're just getting that that finished product the one pound for the 20 gallons and you're spraying your seed and that will get the mycorrhizal fungus and the bacteria on your seed and it'll trick your seed into thinking wow i'm in ridiculously healthy soil i need to go to work it'll put out exudates those exudates will signal mycorrhizal fungus and bacteria to come bring it um, all the healthy micro uh, nutrients that it needs to build a healthy plant when we plant and use uh, synthetic FOSS, the, the seed goes into that situation where it has a synthetic FOSS and realizes, oh, I've got FOSS, I don't need to work, I don't need to put out exudates. So then you're not getting all the other micro um, nutrients that you need to build a healthy plant. So this is for us to build healthier crops. It's also to help us get away from using synthetic uh, fertilizers to help you know reduce input costs. And then um, guys I've seen doing it in Montana, um, they said that they've used this as a top dresser for their wheat and they've sprayed it three years in a row and the, the beneficial bacteria and fungus that you're putting on your wheat actually either kills or keeps the um the fungus that causes causes stripe rust from even getting on to your wheat and so they spray this which is free other than the maintenance of building the bioreactor and keeping it wet you want to put a gallon of water on this um every day but anyway other than the maintenance it's free as opposed to paying, you know, seven to whatever else, seven dollars an acre that you got to spray to top your dress your wheat. So we're hoping to build um, healthier crops um, for the consumer by doing this and also reducing our input cost and um, really uh, bringing the benefits of cover crops into our system and uh, putting it on steroids by getting the beneficial biology going in our soil much, much quicker. So. That's the uh, the plan. I'll keep you guys posted with more videos. Um, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for more.